darlings, it's Mummy, Sybil Brunchen, and I'm coming to you from the corner of Madison Avenue and East 36th Street. Um, I'm running errands. Uh, obviously, we try not to go out if we don't have to, and we don't travel all over the city. This is dramatically different from my area. But I thought I would just take you on a little tourette today on a beautiful Monday morning, May 4th, 2020. What a glorious day, absolutely glorious. Downing, for those of you that live in New York, there's so many little anecdotes and stories to talk about in New York. Um, but there's, there's just so many, the, the, the six degrees of separation. Uh, you can, in New York, for instance, you're in a city of eight and a half million people. You cannot see someone for 10 years. You're walking around the city. You see them. You bump into them. You say hello. Oh, my goodness. You catch up for like 10 minutes. And then you leave each other, and then you see each other later that afternoon in a completely different part of the city for the first time in 10 years. And then two days later, you bump into them again in a third place. It's, that's New York. That, ask your New York friends if that isn't true. It's so weird. Apropos of that, there's also um, coincidences of place. Mummy has several of these. I don't know what these are. I don't know if they're places where energy pools and you keep being pulled back to that place. But for instance, I never lived near 36th and Madison, and yet I have tons of history here. For instance, my dentist out of the clear blue is right down there at 36th. I had to go today to an ear, nose, and throat person because of a hearing loss issue that I'm having. Um, mummy's getting old, and um, my ear, nose, and throat person is next door to my dentist. My accountant for years, Stephen, lives down the block here on the other side of the street, down on that block. It's so strange. My accountant who did my taxes year after year after year. Um, when mummy was a, was a uh, sometimes had to do other things for a living and was a butler. Yes, she worked at the Morgan Library. Here's the Morgan Library. I did repeated events here over the years. When mummy was working for Phillips Van Heusen and for Tommy Hilfiger, this is the Phillips Van Heusen building right here. And I walked in and out and did their entire archive, established their archive with their wonderful Lion Decker paintings and everything. Here's, here's the building I worked in. And then many, many, many years, there's more, there's more. Many years ago, uh, before AIDS decimated the population, uh, I had a group of friends, a clique, that lived on 37th Street right here um, between Madison and Park. And I'm walking up here right now. Look at the J.P. Morgan Library. It's so startling. It's just amazing. I mean, they've added on to it over and over and over again. But here's the original buildings. Um, and you've, you've seen this uh, mentioned in Ragtime, the movie and in the book Ragtime. Uh, but uh, up here on 37th Street, I want you to see this. Uh, Steve Goodman... Ken Callender, Blair Sway, a whole bunch of them lived down on this block, which was very dramatic. It's so beautiful. And they lived in those brownstones and were the typical gay boys of the 1960s and 70s. They had the, the magazine looking apartments and were wonderful. But even before that, even before that, I had a relationship, sort of, with the Polish embassy, which is right here. This gorgeous building is the Polish embassy. And the reason I had a relationship there was not because it was the Polish Embassy, but look at the J.P. Morgan Library, how beautiful, my God. But because this was the mansion that was built for Alice Delamar, uh, who was considered the wealthiest young debutante in America back in the early uh, 1900s. Her father uh, had been a shipping person a merchant seaman and a shipping person and technically a pirate <laughs> and he had built this mansion for him himself and his daughter Alice and she went on to become a rather notorious lesbian in the Hollywood community uh, and had a wide circle of friends including Marlena Dietrich and uh, Greta Garbo and uh, oh my goodness it went it went on and on she was a whole Catherine Hepburn uh, they were all girls together in Hollywood and she was their young plaything. She was not in the business, but she was this pr profoundly wealthy and uh, charming and intelligent uh, debutante and socialite. And I knew Alice Delamar through uh, June Havoc and through a couple of different people. 
so eventually her house, uh, when she passed away, her house was uh, rented or something and became the Polish embassy, which is what it's been ever since. So it's so strange. Steve Goodman, Ken Callender, Alice Delamar, Phillips Van Heusen, my doctors, uh, who are unrelated to each other and were not referrals. Just strange coincidences around here, 36th, 37th, and Madison and Park. So odd how those happen. There's others. There are other little weird coincidences of place, which I'll tell you about in my memoirs someday. Anyway, I wanted to take you out. You can see what a Monday during quarantine is like. A busy Monday, midday, and look, it's like a, a Sunday in the middle of the summer. Nobody's out. So strange. Kind of lovely. Uh, I used to joke that if only New York had only like one million people, what a charming place it would be to live. <laughs> All right, darlings, I hope you're having a lovely day. Do get out and get some sun, not just for the vitamin D, but for the sanity issue. Love you all. Bye-bye.